Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and uh, in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about class components. So these are the points of this video. First of all, we will learn what is component. Then we will make a class component, and uh, we will check it all these things with example. And after that, I will ask you a question on class component. And uh, after that, I will just provide provide you the answer of the question which is I asked in the last video and if you just want to join me on insta then here is my insta id so the first question is what is component by the way i already told you about the component in the last functional component video but again i am just going to tell you because uh, class component is again a different topic and uh, you can just relate it with the component and class component so now let's get started with the what is component so component is basically a piece of code that we can use again and again or you can see that a reusable piece of code right for example header is a best example of the component because uh, let's say in our website we have a 50 pages but in our every page we need a header so that we can reuse this header code again and again right we don't need to make header for all files again and again a single component can be used many times uh and uh we can define the components in two ways one with the functional second one is the class i already told about the functional component in previous video link is given in the description box so now let's uh, just jump on class component so class component is basically used with the javascript classes right and uh functional component is basically used with the javascript function so how we can create a class component for that you can create a either a new file or you can just write a code in the same file also we will check out the both of way first of all let's create a new file so let's say my file name is user.js right and when we are making a class component first of all we need to import a react so just write here react import react from react right and uh, after that we need one more thing you can just uh, import a component also so just write here component and now just simply put your uh, class name or class component name let's say users right and just write here okay it should be user and just write here extends and it will extend the component right or you can just simply write here react dot component and you don't need to import it right it's totally up to you that whatever you uh, whatever way you just want to use so just for a simplicity just put here component and now just open and close the bracket and again then just uh, class component have its predefined function render and just return something here right so let's say i am just going to return here uh, div and here we can take any html element let's say just write here hello user right and uh, after that we can just export it like export default user and you can just write this here or you can directly put it here also it's totally up to you how you just want to uh, export it now let's uh, just import it inside app import just write here user from uh, user right and let's use it a uh, simply uh, HTML tag like HTML tag right and here you can see that we are able to just get this text and uh, here you can see that the import way and uh, just use of the uh, component way is pretty similar but there is a little bit different in the component definition right but that's okay all right so how we can reuse it for a simplest way we can just reuse it like this and here you will find we have a three uh, different different user so uh, yes we can make them dynamic by sending the data from here but uh, that thing we will learn in the upcoming videos right Okay, so now uh, it's time to 
answer of the last video so in the last video i asked that can we just define a component inside a component yes we can how so let's say i am just going to again make a function apple right and uh, you can just simply return here um, like this h1 uh, apple right all right so now you can use it uh, as a normal function as well as a component so first of all let's uh, just check out as a normal function just put here apple and call it and now you will just see that we got a apple here right and in the second way you can just simply put it like this and now you again have the same output so in that way you can just define the nested component also right but keep in mind your nested component cannot have the same name with with the parent component also right so in the next video we will uh, see that how we can uh, just uh, pass the data from one component to another component we will also learn about the jsx there are lots of things so don't forget to subscribe our uh, channel all right so now it's time to question of uh, another question right so i uh, uh, sorry for that i asked you that uh, i will ask a question which is related to the class component but uh, now i just remember that i should ask a more important question more, uh, which is uh, more important than the class component interview question which is can we use angular and react together if yes then how if no then why right so you can attempt this question and i will ask this question in the next video so bye bye take care